Hello and welcome. Now, if you're new to the channel, then uh, my name's Phil. Um, I'm a recovering gambling addict and I make these kind of meandery, rambly vlog kind of videos um, sharing my experiences of gambling, my opinions about gambling and where I can sort of help, helpful tips, advice, you know, um, and, and things about, about the process of quitting gambling and, and getting away from this addiction. If you're not new to the channel, then welcome back. Thank you very much for coming back and sticking with me. If you haven't already, it'd be great if you would subscribe as well. Um, that's really appreciated. And thank you to anyone who subscribed, anyone who comments, and anyone who likes the videos. Now, what I want to talk about today, if you're not new around here, if you have seen a few of my videos before, you may well see have seen a video I made a little while ago which was me reacting to a viral video of a guy smashing up a bookmakers, literally smashing up all the fob tees, the TVs, the whole lot of it. Um, if you haven't seen that video already, I'll link it above or below. I never remember where the links go, but anyway, I will link to it. But what I want to talk about today is not about that video again, specifically, but more about a comment that I received on it. I was, it was actually quite a, a divisive video actually, there was quite a, a division of opinion um, and it certainly there's a lot of people who disagree with me, which is, as I always say, is cool, it's good to have a bit of discussion. Um, but one of the things I said in the video was that I had a bit of sympathy really for the uh, lady behind the counter, um, because obviously this guy was causing a lot of damage, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of carnage really in the, in the bookies. She was obviously trying to call the police, trying to get it sorted, and sounding quite distressed. You could hear in her voice she was quite distressed uh, and quite panicky. And, you know, I got a lot of comments um, supporting the, the guy that was smashing up the machines. I got a lot of people as well who, like me, said, well, actually, you know, regardless of not whether you agree with the bookies, the woman was just doing her job, and let's face it, we all need to work. So, yeah, there was a bit of a, a split opinion. But the, the most divisive a comment I got was actually quite recently, a, a little while after the, the video had been up, was a guy who strongly disagreed with me and said, look, you shouldn't feel sorry for the woman behind the counter at all, you know, because she is helping the bookmakers make money. Um, and what you should, who you should actually feel sorry for is the guy in the video, because clearly he is an addict. He clearly has a, a gambling problem, which has led him to this this sort of flashpoint of, of rage um, when he then goes on his, his little bit of a rampage to, to sort of smash the bookies up. Now, first thing I'll say about that is that, yes, I, 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 I can imagine was an addict, and I, I've said before in previous videos, the easiest way to spot a gambling addict is they're playing a fob tee. Many, many forms of gambling in casinos, you know, sports betting, fruit machines, a lot of those forms of gambling will have a section of gambling addicts who use them, um, and they will have a section of average, you know, average punters, so to speak, just people who have a few quid here and there and actually do bet within their means. Fog tees, I believe, have very, very few casual players, if any. Virtually everyone who plays a fob tee, in my experience, is under the influence of a gambling problem or of a gambling addiction. So yes, I, I would agree um, with this guy that this guy clearly has a gambling problem. But that's kind of where I stop agreeing. Now there is no doubt that I will sympathise with people who have a gambling problem, people who have an addiction. I obviously have one myself of which I'm currently recovering. I will not necessarily empathise with everyone who has a gambling problem, but certainly, you know, I can, I can relate to it. Now, two reasons I would disagree with this comment. Firstly, and the, the shortest one, was really with the, the idea that I shouldn't feel any sympathy for the lady behind the counter. Now, I can sympathise and I can empathise with um, that woman. Anyone who's, who's read my comments or watched my videos may well know that many, many years ago, um, I worked in one of those town centre um, amusement arcades or gaming centres or whatever they called them. Um, I was I was young, uh, and to me, it was a job. Um, you know, I needed a job. I was young. They took me on, and uh, yeah, I got into a, a sort of a semi-management position, and it paid me okay. So, um, but I did experience. You know, 
working for minimum wage amongst a number of gamblers, a lot of whom quite clearly had gambling problems, who would act in uh, an unpredictable and, and sometimes hostile, aggressive way. So I can understand how that woman feels. Now, I can only say this from my perspective, which is why I always say my videos are only my perspective, they're only my opinion, they're only my experience. But I didn't work in that, that place because I like to see people losing money. I actually like to see people win money because when people won money, they were a lot happier, they were a lot more cheerful, they were a lot more friendly to the staff. I didn't laugh at people behind their backs when they lost. We had a few people come in who acted in really peculiar ways, not necessarily addiction related, just because they were odd characters. And yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it, it would be remiss of me to, to, or disingenuous of me, sorry, to sort of say we never sort of had a little sideways glance at, you know, at some of the customers. But by and large, win or lose, you know, no real judgment on, on our part. And I would much rather have seen people people win. In fact, someone actually commented on one of my videos recently, it may have been the same one, who said that people who work in gambling establishments, you know, aren't necessarily ones that are going to revel in your losses. But there will be people who are subject to schadenfreude, um, which is, you know, taking delight in other people's misery. But these people will exist across the board in all jobs, all walks of life. You know, being a dickhead and working at bookies doesn't mean you won't be a dickhead if you work somewhere else. So yes, I can feel sorry for this woman who has to you know, put up with aggressive and hostile behaviour, which she herself hasn't caused any more than the fact she may have unlocked that shop earlier in the day. So the guy, why don't I feel sorry for the guy? I have it within me to feel deep sympathy, deep empathy for people with gambling addictions. But I think in order to earn that sympathy, to earn that empathy, you should accept the addiction you should accept that you should do something about it and you should own what that addiction does to you now I'm not speaking here from any elevated level I'm, I'm certainly not on a high horse here because I am far far from blameless during my gambling career as people often refer to it I did some horrible things I lied to the people closest to me I betrayed people I let people down um, you know because I, I would cancel plans at the last minute I would you know disappoint people on many levels and almost certainly the ones closest to me I would deceive people I would lie and, and cheat to you know if I needed to borrow some money I would lie to people about what it was about I would maybe you know wouldn't pay them back on time because you know well I had cash in my pocket didn't I and we know what happens there so I did some really horrible things and I know and I've heard stories of people who do far, far, what I would say, worse things. You know, I've heard of people committing crimes, stealing, you know, and being generally very horrible pieces of work because of what this gambling does to you. So I'm saying I'm not coming from any place, you know, of I'm not being morally superior here because I've been there and I've done it and I, I you know, I, I say I have the t-shirt but I mention this in most of my videos, I haven't done the t-shirts yet. So no, I'm, I'm far from a fault. But I, whilst gambling addiction may well have been the reason for some of my behavior, or certainly for a lot of my bad behavior, because by and large, I don't count myself as a particularly bad person. Gambling addiction was the reason for my bad behavior. But gambling addiction could never, ever be the excuse for my bad behavior. I could never say, you know, well, it was okay to lie and deceive and to let people down and, and, you know, cheat loved ones because I had a gambling addiction. It's never okay. It's still up to me to own that. It's still up to me to take personal responsibility for my own actions. Like I say, gambling addiction could well be the cause, but it's not, it's definitely not the excuse. And with this, in the, this guy, in this instance in the bookies, the reason he snapped, the reason you know he lost his temper and did all that damage and caused the distress to, to the staff member was because he had a gambling addiction. 
But a gambling addiction cannot be used as an excuse to behave in a way which we know and have been taught and, and society tells us is wrong, it's immoral and in this case illegal. I think, as I said, or started saying, if you have a gambling addiction, you own your addiction, then you have to own the behaviour that comes with it. And if you have a gambling addiction and you are trying, genuinely trying to make yourself better, to get yourself into recovery, to abstain, to control your gambling by whatever means, then you have my ultimate sympathy, you have my empathy, you have as much as I can offer it, my support. But if you just continue gambling and you continue to behave in a way that is dishonest, aggressive, violent, criminal in this instance, then that can't, we can't use addiction as a defence. It may be the root cause, but it's not a defence and I don't feel sorry for this guy. I can't feel empathy for someone who behaved like that because even in my worst gambling losses, I, I wouldn't have found myself behaving like that. And like I say, I'm, I'm hardly sin-free. I behaved in some quite bad ways when I was gambling. So anyway, that's, that's my opinion on that, really. Um, you know, gambling addiction is, is a horrible, horrible thing. And likewise, and I have to say this time and time again, I do not support bookmakers. I do not support fobties. I think our country and the world would be better off without those forms of establishment and without those forms of gambling. I will, however, stick up for people who are just doing their job, normally a minimum wage job, you know, around a fairly hostile environment. Yes, those people will get my sympathy. And because most of the time they are, they are innocent. And whilst you will get the odd dickhead member of bookie staff, and you will, and they'll be the ones you notice, they would be a dickhead member of staff or wherever they were working, trust me. So, you know, I don't support bookies, I don't support fobties, but I, I, I do support innocent people just trying to go about their business. Anyway, that's that. Let me know your opinions. Again, I'm sure it will be divisive, and that's, that's absolutely cool. What I would say is if, if you're going to disagree with me, I, I like that. I like reading comments that disagree with me because it opens a debate. Obviously, I like reading stuff that supports me as well, but if you're going to disagree with me, try and give me a reason. Um, you know, and this isn't me being, you know, a, this isn't me being a bit of pretentious about it. Just if you just just insult me and just tell me I'm wrong or whatever, yeah, that's fine. But tell me why I'm wrong, because it makes for a much much more interesting conversation. Anyway, I'm, I'm off. Have a good evening if you're watching this now. If you're watching it later, morning, night, whatever. Um, and as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Like and subscribe. Put the notification bell. All that good stuff. And I shall catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.